Okay, so we're going to begin uh, with, with plotting. I want to plot something very simple. So given a set of, of ordered pairs of coordinates, uh, given a set of order, ordered pairs of coordinates in the xy plane, I want to draw a graph that, sep that, that connects all of these points. Okay, so I want to draw a graph that connects all of these points. Um, so if I have like the point 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, uh, there'll be a line from 0, 0 to 1, 1, and then uh, a, line, a line segment from 1, 1 to 2, 2. Okay, so there's a few things that we have to do. Now, one of the first things that we have to do is we want to use a library called matplotlib. Now, if you're familiar with doing plotting um, from MATLAB, this is supposed to mimic MATLAB plotting. Okay, so we're first going to see how we can import something. So we're going to import something. Um, we're going to use an import statement. So there's this library, like I said, called matplotlib. Um, this is something that isn't like in Python. It's a, it, it, it is a library, library, library written in Python. But to get Jupyter to know what we're talking about, we have to do something called import the library. So what we're going to do is the following import uh, mat plot lib dot pi plot as plt. So matplotlib is a library, pi plot is a sub library. And I'm just going to run this code either by pressing shift enter or running it. Okay, and so now what this lets us do is it lets us refer to plt. Whenever Jupyter sees plt, it's just going to replace it with this right here. And then there's a bunch of functions inside plt, inside matplotlib.pyplot that we can use uh, to plot vectors. Okay, so let's say, um, let me change this to markdown. Let's say we are given the points. Um, 0, 1. Uh, I think the dollar signs are going to get me LaTeX, but if you don't know what LaTeX is, that's fine. 2, 3, uh, and 5, 4. Uh, we want, we're given the points, and we want to plot them and the lines between them. Okay, so uh, here's how we do that. Here's how we do that. We've got the points 0, 1, 1, 3, and 5, 4. So I'm going to create an x vector that I'm going to call x. x is just going to be uh, the x coordinates. So 0, and this needs to be in order, uh, 0, 1, 5. That's my x vector. And uh, y vector is going to be the corresponding y value. So 1, 3, 4, 1, um, 3, oh, sorry, x, this is a 5, not a 4. 0, 1, 5, 1, 3, 4. Okay, so now I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in some stuff and tell you what it means. So I'm going to do fig, comma, ax is equal to plt dot subplots. Uh, sorry, I wrote plot, but I meant plt. So there is a function in plt called subplots. It's going to return a figure and an axis. I'll talk about that uh, probably in the next video. I just kind of want to get something working now, and then I'm going to do ax dot plot, and then x comma y, and I'm going to do oops should be a capital Y, and I'm going to run this, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so this is what we get. We have the point uh, x is equal to zero and y is equal to one. This is the point x is equal to one and y is equal to three, and this is the point x is equal to five and y is equal to four. And so we have you know the three points. We haven't really plotted the three points, right? We've just plotted the line segments that connect, that connect these three points. Okay, so I think uh, that's what I want to talk about um, for this first video. Um, in upcoming videos, essentially what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to show you all how to, given, given a function, so typically we're not giving ordered pairs, maybe we want to graph a function, uh, how to graph a function, like how to graph y is equal to x squared or y is equal to sine of x or something like that uh, and for that we're going to use um, numpy and that's what we're going to be doing in the upcoming videos